economist expert ni to say that they must have economic punya background who are you to decide what background this so called economic advisor must be to the pm pm is the one that's going to accept and receive that services that help from his daughter and he prefers that because he knows what his daughter is capable of he trusts his daughter to be in the office and to discuss certain matters that he trust and that is for free who are we or his this economist to decide oh this person kena disqualification kena ada debt qualification she doesn't have, to have any qualification pun somebody yang SPM liver pun kalau dia boleh advise bapak dia certain things dan bapak dia perlu that advice and that makes the father be a more effective perdana menteri and finance minister who are we to question the credentials of any advisor that the pm appoints for free okay what who are we to question how many advisors the pm should be entitled to have for free kalau bayar okay kita boleh katalah pm tak boleh lebih sangat daripada tiga ataupun lima maksimum uh, for the five limbs five wings of your part finance portfolio uh, because satu position tu dah bayar 50000 sebulan so 250000 per month dah banyak dah pun so you can argue on that basis kalau is kena duit tapi sekarang ni kalau free dia nak ambil lagi anak-anak dia semua anak-anak dia empat lima orang semua tu be dia punya advisor on certain things and, and there's anything he as an advisor yang buat free anak dia he as finance minister and bapak dia orang he can tell them to do anything even tell him tell them to make a cup of coffee for him so kalau Nur Izzah buat a cup of coffee for bapak dia ataupun bapak dia lenguh bapak dia dia urut bapak dia punya leher so marah is it ha? maknanya dah abuse public service ok maknanya PM dah guna dapat massage at the expense of rakyat expense ke pulau tak apa bapa sen dia bayar kat Nur Izzah so therefore Nur Izzah can be in the office even massage her father's leg and the father nak bagi uh, pangkat senior uh, uh, apa ni cause apa ni advisor in economics and finance so what so what bapak dia nak beli nasi ayam kat bawah kat kat, kat bawah ni harga RM10 dia tahu tempat lain yang jual RM6 papa tak payah beli kat sini lah kat sana RM6 lagi besar that's also a advice There's also a finance advice to the Prime Minister untuk dia beli lunch dia. So, kalau free, what is our problem? Who are we to question? Okay, does it apply only to Prime Minister ke? Siapa-siapa pun. You kerja kat private company ke? You kerja kat civil service ke? You got your own office. Somebody or your friend ke siapa nak tolong you buat you punya kerja if they are allowed access or entry into your office that is you secure that uh, is not a security issue what is the problem uh, kalau the civil service ataupun the prime minister can bring his work home where his children are so what is secret about his work to the children or the family so unless bapa dia tu judge and anak dia boleh leak out and kalau anak dia leak whatever judgement ke apa ke as a judge that judge will be the one responsible and hold up and can have his head chopped off. So, kok mana yang uh, benda ni salah? Explain, Zed. How? How yang unethical?